hello 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 so this is crazy because i'm back again um like i said in my last video i was gonna come back with more videos because i have a lot to film a lot to do i'm starting to manage my time a bit better but that's not what you're here for you're not here to hear me rambling you're here to see my collective haul video now I have beauty, I have fashion, and I have a little bit of kind of a random one. But basically, I spent like a week collecting these bits, um, though technically it was probably like two or three days. Um, but yes, I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to show you that I got um, that I think you might be interested in. Um, it might give you ideas of what you want to buy. Um, I'll try and remember all the prices, but there's no guarantee of that. Um, but yes, let's get into it. So my first purchase that I'm going to talk about, because I've put everything inside it, is this bag. It's basically, um, oh, you can't see it. It's basically a lightweight um, bag to stick on a plane. So rather than taking a holder or a handbag I've got my mini suitcase now which I quite like um, I actually got this from Klaus Olsen um, for $14.99 their bags in there were so cheap I know when I I know when I'll go on holiday I will definitely buy one of their bags because they are affordable and they're lightweight but for the moment I got this little bag so on the front you've got this zip compartment um, you've obviously got some wheels they do sell the other ones that have like four wheels but they were slightly more expensive um, and it obviously comes with a handle and like another handle um, and it just zips open like via the side so you can flap it open and inside you can see all my bits um, but I do have oh but there's a zip part in the inside and like the stretchy bands is basically everything I want and more. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is this t-shirt. Uh, it just says Beverly Hills on it. It's just a white finish t-shirt. Um, it's quite baggy because it, they didn't have my size so I had to get a size bigger and it was just like massive anyway. Um, it's fairly thin, you can sort of see my bra through it. Um, but I absolutely love this. This was from Primark, this was £5. Um, I believe it's fairly new, that's why I picked it up or why I found it. But it basically says Beverly Hills on it. It's just white, it's big and baggy and I love it. It's going to be perfect for the summer because it's so lightweight as well. So, love it. Next, you probably, if you watch my April favourites, you've probably already seen these. But these are my new jeans uh, they are just black joni jeans from Topshop I absolutely love them I love the fit I love the feel of them I love the fabric I love the length I just love everything about them and you know I'm gonna be getting more of them so Next, is this top or well at first I thought it was a jumper and then it turns out it's a top um, but I still love it and it's from top Sh no it's not from Topshop it's from misguided online um, and I'm trying to think how much it cost. £10, £12, something like that. And it's just this basically like long sleeved and fairly long top. Um, well, the reason why I got this was because on the back it has this cool harness detailing um, just on a back opening. And I think this would look amazing on with like um, a dramatic kind of. Um, harness or bralette style bra um, especially if it's like a different colour because I have this amazing white bra that has this really cool back and I like lacy back and I think that that would look so cool with this top um, I got this in a size 14 which I was wasn't sure if I it would fit me um, but if you're planning on getting this I believe it's still online um, it's quite large like the size 14 is a little bit too big for me anyway um, so keep that in mind if you want it baggy then just buy your size but if you want it like a bit more fitted then buy probably a smaller size maybe one size smaller um so yes i absolutely love this and i can't wait to wear it um i also got picked up this i've already worn this once and um, when i went to the benefit event um 
and it's this bralette harness thing so it basically goes on like this um, that's where that goes under your boobies and then your boob comes like through here or your bra and then these sit on the top part of your boob so like there um, and then you've just got this straight line that goes down the back I love this um, I believe it was like 10 pounds maybe less than that um, from misguided as well um, it's just I think if you go on their lingerie section or nightwear and underwear section and um, it's in there I believe there's two different styles but I decided on this style I absolutely love this I think they're so cool they're so comfortable to wear as well and they look really nice especially with low cut tops and dresses next is this top that I got from new look I've already worn this again with the um, bra harness um, and this is just this cool kind of v-neck uh, slouchy flowy top it's got almost like two layers to it um, and it's got these like strange um, stringy straps with a metal loop at the back um, and it fits really nice though I feel it's a little too big for me um, and it really kind of makes my boobs look even bigger which I find a bit confusing um, but this was how much was this $7.99? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, but yes, it's absolutely lovely. They have it in so many different colours. Black, white, um, bright yellow, because this is more of an orangey yellow. Bright orange, pink, um, like a tanned colour. So they have all different colours. So I love that one. Next from Primark, I picked up this top. Um, I find with Primark I have to get big sizes because of my boobs but then like sometimes they're like designed wrong um, so that's why they're kind of big um, but I love the flowiness to this it's a little see-through but I absolutely love the detailing on the um, collar um, and it's got this little tie up but I absolutely love that and it looks really nice but it's like really comfortable and this was only £8 from Primark um, the only thing is I would have liked a the same style but maybe with a little bit more of a cap sleeve instead of like just sleeveless but it's really comfortable and it has this like little pearlescent button on the back so next is this dress that i got picked up from primark again and this is it this was five pounds because this was in the sale it should have been 13. um i've i saw this like before christmas before christmas after christmas and it's just like this kind of almost high neck um, black dress with white and yellow flowers and it kind of cinches in at the waist and then flows outwards um, on the back it has this like hidden zip that goes all the way down which I absolutely love it fits amazingly um, it mm, is slightly tight around the breast area which I always find with Primark stuff but I absolutely love it Next is a pair of leggings because I had to buy some. Um, I had a hole in mine, but these are the extra long leggings from New Look. They're $7.99. Obviously, if you've got a student discount, they become six pounds something. Um, I get them in a bigger size and I get them in extra long because I always shrink them. So they're just basic black, extra long, stretchy leggings. And I love them. Next is this dress from George Asda and this should have been £16 but it was reduced to 8 and it's a similar styling to the previous dress from Primark but it's slightly thicker and it doesn't have a long neck but it's basically black with yellow, white and orange flowers and it cinches in and then flows outwards and then it's got this like black panel just at the bottom but instead of having a hidden zip it has an exposed zip so it just goes all the way down and it's kind of this like gold mm, coppery color like zip color and um, but it's a lot more thicker um material which would be nice to like cover up slightly more especially if it's slightly colder finally clothing wise um i picked up this t-shirt again same make as this one but instead it's in gray and it says california and again really big this one is 
bigger as well because I wanted it slouchy though for some reason this one feels smaller than this one. It feels even tighter than only being a size difference. Um, but yes, again, really big and slouchy and sexy California on because I absolutely love California in America. So I do have a lot of like California or America or LA, Beverly Hills and things like that t-shirts because I absolutely love it. So this is my final fashion bit and it is sunglasses from Topshop. Now, you, when you buy sunglasses in Topshop, you get a free little sunglass bag so I decided on the blue one and I got these sunglasses they're 35 pounds and they are the Quay sunglasses um, and they look like this as you can sort of see it's kind of a pinkish um, reflection and it's very very reflective um, you can get them in blue and they are quite big on my face but I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable, so big. Um, I wore them when it was sunny, when I went to the um, Good Ship Benefit, um, just because we sat on the hula deck uh, for a bit. So I absolutely love these, they're amazing. Can't wait to properly wear them in the summer. So the next products are beauty stuff. So the first things I'm gonna show you are these brushes. Now, they were actually on my list for um, eye mats, but I got them before then. Um, I basically, when I went to London, I went into Selfridges and Selfridges have changed their back beauty section. Their front beauty section has rearranged slightly where MAC and Charlotte Tilbury and Tom Ford all, all are. They're pretty much a similar place. But behind that, they used to have like, when uh, Nyx first moved in, it had like a little section next to the Topshop sec section. But when I went in, it was very much different to what it was before the sections had moved. Nyx now has its own wall um, next to a wall of Inglot, which they never had. Um, they've rearranged things so they're more nicely presented. And they had a Zoeva stand, a Zoeva stand. I was like, oh my God, they, you can buy these sets. So you can buy the rose gold sets, um, the white set, the, I think it was called the artist collection set, which was the full set. Um, individual brushes, um, eyeshadow palettes, but not the one that was after. Um, but I wanted these certain brushes. Um, they, when you buy the individual brushes, they only come in the black and silver. They don't come in any other color. Um, but I hear loads of people raving about the brow liner um, because it's so thin and short and quite sturdy. Um, so I picked up that one. So it's the Zoe Zoeva or Zoeva 322 brow line brush. So it's really short and stubby. I used it for eyeliner, but I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it as an eyeliner brush. Um, but it's really good. Uh, I picked up the... So we have a 102 silk finish brush. So this is like a rounded, a rounded kabuki brush. I've been using this for my foundation and I love it. Um, obviously it needs a bit of a clean, but it's just this beautiful domed and it's quite dense as well. And it moves and blends like amazingly. And finally, I picked up the 110 face shape brush. Now I'm not really sure what this is for, but I use it for blending out concealer because I think it's amazing, especially under the eye. Again, it looks exactly the same as the previous brush. It's domed. Um, this one's less dirty, so it's not kind of thick in there, but it looks amazing. It fits and blends superbly. I absolutely love this. You don't just have to like swirl it. You can like tap it as well. Oh, love them. Are two hair or two products that I picked up from Urban Outfitters because I've only ever seen them in Urban Outfitters and they're both £7 each um, and they are the Main and Tail Original Conditioner and Shampoo so you can use them on horses okay I'm really confused now um, but basically I picked these guys up to give them a try because people rave about them so far I like them it's kind of a weird consistency though and they're really shiny like they look shimmery and they smell okay they're not like the best scent for me though they're not really strong in scent, so they don't really leave my hair smelling of anything. Um, 
but I use like a pea size amount now that my hair's shorter um, but I do like them so hopefully they'll continue doing what they want um, I also picked up Olaplex number three uh, this is my sealed one. I do have an opened one because I got a pack of two from Amazon for like £31. Um, there's 100 mil in each, so 200 mil. It says once a week between chemical services to straight, strengthen hair. I absolutely love this. I've used this twice. Um, I think it's amazing, fabulous and everything like that. To go with my hair theme, I've also got this brush. I picked it up from New Look for $4.99 and it says mermaid hair, don't care. Um, but I, basically what happened was when I went home on the weekend, um, a weekend a couple ago, um, I left my brush at home and I, oh, I can't deal with hairbrushes without a handle anymore. So I have to have a handle on my hairbrush and I've been using Tangle Teaser a couple of times and I just could not get on with it so I needed to get another brush. So I basically picked up this mini brush. Um, I'm going to actually leave this at home and then get my wet brush and use that. I absolutely love this brush. It's basically like a mini version of the wet brush, just a little tougher and obviously you can squeeze it. But I think it's perfect for just basically everyday use. I'm grabbing is the Urban Decay B6 vitamin infused complexion prep spray now this is the large bottle i actually have a mini bottle but what i do is i buy the large bottles and pour it into the little bottle um so yeah i had i recently finished my large bottle um and i don't want to run out of this stuff because it's great for oil absorbing if anything else it's great as an oil absorber and for moisturizing my skin obviously i'm moisturizing everything as well but like this helps kind of dry dry but moisturize it's really weird but I had to get another one while I was at Urban Decay I thought I would pick up the new Urb the new Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector SPF 20 um, and this is in the shade light now I actually have this on my skin today I do have powder and like highlight and bronzer and things um, but the first time I put this on, it it is a tint. It's not. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like a proper foundation, um, or I don't think it is. It says it's a hybrid uh, tint highlighter. Is that right? Apparently. Um, but I personally, um, because I like high coverage, when I'm doing my brows properly with the NYX brow gel I can't use this because it's so sheer coverage it just doesn't look right but this morning what I did was I put my concealer on first mm, I don't really like doing that but I thought if I try that and then put the foundation on I'll see how I like it <coughs> so I did my under eyes uh, any blemishes I had and it actually looks amazing um so i am loving this especially for days where you just don't want to put that much on um it does come with a little pump though the only thing i'm not crazy about is just the squeezy tube because i i feel like it's just too bendy and i don't 100 percent know how much is in here and yeah it just i'm i'm not a massive fan of the squeezy tube but it's good product next Next, I went to Makeup Forever. Now, I've only ever tried the Ultra HD Foundation and the HD Foundation and the HD Powder and the HD Primer and the Full Coverage Concealer. Um, that makes me sound like I've used a lot of it, <laughs> um, but that was back in 2013 so quite a few years since i've actually properly tried anything else um when i went to london they obviously have a makeup forever stand in debenhams so it gives you a chance to try some stuff out some of this stuff was on my list for imats but i decided because it's 
it's usually almost the same price or just a few pounds less I thought I'd just get it anyway um, so the first thing I picked up and this is actually a sample this isn't the full size but it's a fabulous size sample is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer mattifying primer so this is a sample like obviously you have to buy it. it's like the mini versions of like fix plus spray from mac so you do still have to pay for this but it's cheaper than the full full one and let's face it this is fabulous for traveling now i only i've only used this once on my t-zone on like this area of my cheeks because they get quite um oily and like my chin fabulous oh my god i didn't like have any oil at all it was so weird but like you only need a tiny tiny amount um obviously it's a squeezy tube but i like these kind of squeezy tubes rather than the ones with a pump attached that just seems a bit weird but it's great i love it um next this was sort of the main reason i went there was for the makeup forever ultra hd invisible cover stick foundation because I want a stick foundation that works um, so I asked for basically the lightest shade and I believe this is the lightest shade which is 117 or Y225 that's on the back but it's basically a stick form um, love it um, I put this on when I went to the benefit um, good ship benefit uh, and it lasted all day I basically put it on in the morning and I didn't get home until about 10 o'clock at night and it still looked amazing so I absolutely love this product I also picked up the ultra HD invisible cover concealer because I know a lot of people have been raving about that I asked for the lightest one because I, I like to try it out as a like a, a light highlight rather than a concealer because I find some HD concealers have a little bit of shine to them and I don't want to put that on my blemishes so I thought I'd try it in the lightest shade so this is in shade Y21 um, just to give it a try um, it's a really weird like thingy I thought you could like use it to smear it out but no not really um, so I just like dab a bit on and just blend it out and it looks amazing so but when I bought those bits from Makeup Forever, the guy was like, oh, I have some free samples. I think you might like these new free samples. New free samples. So these are brand new um, products from Makeup Forever and they're sample form. So I didn't pay for them at all, uh, which is amazing. So they are the Aqua XL eye pencils. And I got it too. Uh, one is in the shade I'm guessing just black one I've got numbers one's M10 which I'm believing is just a matte black uh, or I've used it so it is a matte black and the other one's like a metallic blue and they're this size so they're perfect size for travel and to be quite honest this one I don't think I'm going to use that much so it's going to last a long time as well because um, I haven't used it at all so they are perfect like oh my god I and I've tried the black one and it lasted all day there was no transfer um, very waterproof I suffer with um, hay fever and especially when the wind catches me in the eyes um, my eyes are water like nothing so I absolutely love this because it lasted so long and I just couldn't believe it so love these I picked up the gimme brow from benefit this is actually the medium deep shade usually I go for the light medium but I thought let's go for a dark one actually what I did was I thought if I asked her I wonder what shade she would say suggest to me and she said oh medium dark so I thought you know what let's try the medium dark I haven't tried it yet it's still in its little box um, but I absolutely love these um, just for like a hint of shape and color and slight definition because they're so easy just to brush through your brow so picked up that guy in top shop um in the beauty vault section in the london one um i found the 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 product that most people like they're good but they're crap so i picked up two just to give them a try and they are the wow long lasting lip colors so i got 
lovely peach and watermelon now they clearly look like that's a peachy color and that's a pink color when you apply them on that's a pink that's a peach clearly but when you peel them off that's more of a red and this one's more of a pink though the colors aren't as nice as when they come out the tube that's the only thing that was a bit annoying they are eight pound fifty each obviously at Topshop you get a discount if you're a st student and got an NUS card so that's a good thing so I didn't actually get pay full price for them but still I would have liked it if it was this color rather than a reddish color um, but yeah they're not too bad I've only used them on my hands though I have yet to use them on my lips I might do one of those first impression things but I'm I'm not gonna say I am because I probably won't but yes I picked up those to give them a try I did go to Charlotte Tilbury because the lipstick I'm after was I believe a limited edition and I basically missed out um, the one that I wanted was called Kiss Chase because it's a brand new lipstick um, they came out with Kiss Chase and something else but Kiss Chase was this beautiful like pinkish corally color um, you could when I first looked you could buy in the kit which was like 129 pounds which is a lot of money considering all I wanted was the lipstick then I found they did sell the lipstick however it was completely sold out I looked on the stall and they didn't have any there so I thought what else can I get so I decided to pick up the Coachella coral um, so this is what it looks like um, beautiful rose gold packaging I actually have it on my lips today this is rose rose gold it's a coral color uh, very moisturizing and lovely on the lips but I also decided to pick up an eyeliner eyeliner my words are not coming out right today um, I also decided to pick up a lip liner so this is the lip liner in pillow talk um, it's called the lip cheat resize and Re reshape lip liner um, this one is the one everyone seems to rave about I actually have this line in my lips today not that you can really tell um, but everyone seems to rave about pillow talk so I picked it up though I do have quite a few that are similar to this so I kind of feel like I shouldn't have really bought it but I do really like it it goes on quite smooth which uh, though it does slightly dry the lips but it does go on smoother than some others so I picked up those two I also popped in to Superdrug because I needed another collection last imperfection concealer so I've got another spare for when mine runs out you may have seen this in my April favorites but this is the lip service lip balm from Lush absolutely love it smells like citrusy though slightly odd at the same time um, but I absolutely love this it moisturizes the lips like nothing else absolutely love this even if I just go out with no makeup on I always just put this on finally I popped into TK Maxx and picked up two things that were quite different that was a bit of a surprise um, especially since they were unopened and untouched um, so they are these two so the first, uh, since it's in my hand, um, is the Estee Lauder Pure Envy Liquid Lip Potion. And this is in the shade 410 Vague Obsession. And it looks like this. It did have a plastic cover over it, but I took it off, obviously. And it just looks like this. So it's like a lip gloss. It has Estee Lauder on there. And I was shocked. It was £14. £14.99. Um... And you can put it on sheer, you can put it on thickly. Let's try it. Oh, it smells amazing. So that's thin, thick. It's such a pretty nude shade, like a pinky nude shade. I absolutely love it. The one I was going to pick up was like the darkest shade. And I thought, actually, no, I've got a lot of dark shades and I don't really wear them. So I picked up that guy. And I also picked up the Too Faced Soul Mates blushing bronzer and is it called I don't know what it's called what the color is called oh carry and big um, so it looks like this it's like a love heart compact and you open it up you've got a mirror obviously and you've got this um, it's just a really subtle bronzer I do have it on my face today you can see it. and I actually do have the blush on my cheeks as well just above um, but it's so beautiful it has 
no smell. Or I don't think it has a smell. Um, but it looks amazing. Um, I was quite surprised that they were selling this because um, usually the Too Faced stuff is either smashed up to crap. Um, but it looked amazing and I, I actually opened it when I was in the store to check it wasn't broken or it hadn't I got a massive fingerprint in it. It didn't, so I was like, I'm having this and it was $9.99. They only had one other left and that was battered. So I'm so happy I picked up this guy. Um, that is everything that I picked up. Apart from food, because no one needs to really see food. Um, or other things as well that I picked up, like essentials. Um, but that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my collective haul video. I'm sorry that I had a cat howling. He's trying to sit in my bag right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And leave a comment down below what you thought and whether you have tried any of this stuff or what you recommend me getting. Because um, I always like to hear comments um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye